Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel, Tip Top Lollipop. I was getting ready to make lunch for myself and my kids, and I thought I'd show you um, the little recipe that I was making today. Now today is just going to be a simple biscuit pizza, and that's correct. You heard me right. I said biscuit pizza. Um, it's really easy. Doesn't take but a few ingredients, and uh, let's just get started. Okay, first of all, you will need, um, well, some type of pan. I'm using my little pizza pan right here. And also, you will need cheese. You can see that. I just shredded some cheese. This is um, mozzarella cheese and a little bit of extra sharp cheddar. And in a separate bowl right here, I have three um, tablespoons of butter with, some, with about a half a teaspoon of um, minced garlic that I actually... I put it on my um, cutting board, and with my knife, I just slid the knife across the, the uh, garlic because I wanted to make more of a paste. I don't want big chunks of uh, garlic on my pizza, so this way you just get a lot of the garlic flavor, but not big chunks. And we're going to put that in the microwave and just melt that. And I have a can of biscuits. You can use the biscuit of your choice. I'm just using some biscuits from, from Walmart, um, a can of biscuits. And whatever type of pizza sauce that you like, you can use. But me personally, guys, for making homemade pizza, I love Prego. <laughs> Prego traditional spaghetti sauce to me makes the best pizzas. But like I said, you have to uh, do what's best for you in your kitchen. So you use whatever it is that you like. So, okay, we're going to get started, guys. First of all, let's open this. butter uh, biscuit can. <laughs> and I do this all the time, guys. And it still scares me. <laughs> it still scares me. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Am I going to cut that out? No, nope. I'm going to leave it in. This is real, guys. <laughs> okay, so I don't feel that you need to butter the pan you know we're just going to treat this as if we were making actual biscuits so you don't have to butter your pan just want to get them in there and also guys um preheat your oven to 350 degrees we're not going to do a high temperature because we aren't using um pizza dough we're using biscuit biscuit dough so we're going to cook this at the temperature um you know that that you would cook it at if you were just making the biscuits so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me or not, but let's try to bring you let's try to bring you down a little bit. Cause I want to show you what I'm doing with the biscuits. I'm just gonna take them out and spread them around a little bit. It's gonna be sticky, guys. You know, it is it is biscuit though, so <clears throat> It will be a little bit sticky, but we're just going to start pressing the dough out. And just pressing the dough out. That's what we want to do. Isaiah, could you have me a napkin? Because I do. I have a little bit of water on my... My pan. I don't want to get that water off. How much stop the pan? Okay, guys, I got a little bit of water still left on my pan. And I don't want to wet my dough, so I just want to dab that off. Okay, here you go. And we're just going to continue to press the dough out because, of course, we want to get it into the shape of a pizza. We're just going to press. And what I did was I put one uh, one biscuit in the middle, and I put the other biscuits around it. And, yeah, we just go from there and just press. And I like to – I use the, the big biscuits, which will make a, a thicker crust. But you could also use the small can that has the 10 biscuits in it. And that'll make your uh, crust a little bit thinner. But
But like I said, you can use just use whatever you have. If you have bis big biscuits in your refrigerator, then use that. If you had a small can, that's fine. Either one of them will work just fine. And we want to just try to take it all the way, all the way to the edges, guys. My hands are impeccably, impeccably clean. I did. I did wash my hands before I started this. So, yeah, you want to make sure you have clean hands because you have to get personal with your <laughs> with your dough, as with any dough. And we're just going to keep spreading that out. If you see any little holes, go back in and patch that up. And let's take it to the edge. Spread it out. Spread it around. Just go around with your pizza pan. And get your dough pretty much spread it out. And I like to spread mine out kind of a little bit thin because I don't I don't want the crust to be too thick. But once again, that's that's up to you. You do it the way that you like it. I like a hearty crust, but I don't want it too thick and too doughy. And I think that that mm, Looks about right, guys. I think that looks about right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to go over here to the sink and wash my hands. And then I'm going to put the butter and garlic mixture in the microwave just to melt the butter a little bit and let the garlic flavor the butter. I'll be right back, guys. Just washing my hands, guys. Getting this little bit of biscuit to wash. And we're going to put the butter mixture in the microwave for just a couple of seconds. Just a couple of seconds. Let's see if it's ready. Nope, not quite. Need a little bit more. A little bit more time, guys. Not quite ready. Just a couple more seconds, guys. I did 30 seconds, but it's still a little bit um, solid. My butter was very, very cold. Okay, guys. I think we're there. I think we're there. Okay, guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this butter and garlic sauce that we made. And I'm going to spread it on my biscuit dough. I do I, I do have a, a brush, but I don't want to use it with this because I don't want everything else I use it with to taste like butter and garlic. So I'm just going to do it with this spoon, guys. It'll work just fine. Just spread it all over your pizza dough or your biscuit dough. <laughs> just take the back of the spoon and just move it around. 
what we're doing. We're just flavoring this, this biscuit though. That's what we want to do. We want to give it flavor. Now, if you wanted to, guys, you could put a little bit of salt on here. But since I used my butter was salted, I'm not going to put any extra salt on. But that's up to you. If you like salt, you can sprinkle a little bit of salt in this, in this mixture. And we just want to make sure that this butter and garlic touches all of this biscuit dough. Now guys, this is already looking good. And we haven't even done anything major. Okay, now what I'm gonna do after this step is I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in the oven for just a few minutes, maybe about maybe about five minutes. I'll let you guys know exactly how long it took. I don't want to cook it completely, I just want to start it to um brown in a bit. Once again, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and put your dough in. And I'm going to set my timer, guys, because I don't want to go over my time. I want to make sure that this turns out correctly. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do while we're waiting on our pizza dough, we can just open our sauce and get that ready. We can clean up a little bit of our mess. Okay, guys, I guess while we're waiting on this pizza, though, I'll just sit down and talk with you a little bit. Um, or biscuit, though. I'm sorry, guys, if my, my camera's all over the place. I'm trying to film on my son's um, Chromebook because my, my tablet wasn't charged up yet. So I really don't know how to work this correctly, but... I hope this video is okay. So what are you guys doing today? It's Sunday. Has my hair. I really don't want to touch on it because I'm cooking right now, but I think it's still looking cute. Um, if you didn't see my video, I did do a, um, a hair video, a save me hair video, <laughs> where I uh, tried to save a wash and go that I did. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, go check that out. Tell me what you think. Okay, but what are you guys doing today? Like I said, it's Sunday. Um, I'm not doing anything much. Just right now in the kitchen cooking and sweating. Guys, I told you it is extremely hot in my apartment. And I will have this oven on. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, guys, I said I wasn't going to fool with my hair, but it's trying to do its own thing. I will wash my hands again, no worries. But, yeah, this is a little style that I came up with to wear. I think it's cute. You think it's cute? Kind of mohawk-ish. You're doing natural hair. You have to be creative, guys. You have to you have to think outside of the box. So I think it's cute. I think I'm gonna come back later on today, guys, and do a makeup um video with you. It's not a tutorial because like I said, I don't know how to really know how to do makeup. It's just me experimenting, but I may come back today and do that. And if not, today you can expect uh, for me to do a video tomorrow because like I said it is Sunday and in a little while I will be cooking my Sunday dinner so I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to actually sit down and do a, a, a makeup video but like I said if not I'll do it tomorrow do you guys go to church today or I mean what did you do for today 
Or do you have anything planned today? What do you be doing later? We're in the beginning of a new week, guys. Sunday starts a new week, which means we get to do it all over again. You know, if things didn't go the way that you wanted them to go this week, you know, if you had different problems or different issues, just remember that this is a new week and we get to start all over again. We get to try again, you know, and that's the way I have to look at life because sometimes, you know, life can get really, really difficult. But I look at it as as like a new week for me. It's a second chance. You know, I can do it differently. I can do it better. I can make it better. So I want you to look at it that way as well. Yep. Just look at it that way as well. And as far as the cheese on the pizza, guys, I mean, you can do anything that you like. But like I said, this is just me making a quick pizza. Um, I'm towards the end of the month, <laughs> so groceries are getting a little bit low. So we're just using, you know, the things that we have. If you wanted to use bell peppers, if you wanted to do onions, um, of course, if you were to use the bell peppers and onions, I would suggest that you um, saute them a little bit in a pan first be so they can soften up a bit because this pizza right here does not take long. It doesn't take long. Um, because like I said, we're giving the, I'm sorry guys, let me get the, let me get the crust. Okay guys, yep, five minutes, five minutes was perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to crank up the heat to about 400. And now we're going to, we got a little bit of brownness going on. No, well, not brownness like on the pizza, but on the, around the edges, you can tell. I'll try to put, put it down so you can see. I know it's not a good. It's not a very good view, but this is what we got so far, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take a little bit of this jarred sauce and I'm going to put it on. And it all depends on what you like. You put as much as you like. But you really don't have to put a lot because you don't want your pizza to be gloopy. But I do want to taste the sauce, guys. I do. I do want to know that I have sauce on my pizza. So. I'd say maybe about a cup of sauce. Cup to a half a cup. And just spread it around. Just like that. Spread it. Okay. I don't want to go too close to the edge. I don't want to go off the pan, guys. All right. I think that's good. I think that's good, guys. I think that's enough. Okay, so now we're just going to sprinkle on our cheese. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Quickest, easiest pizza you will ever make. And like I said, guys, you can put whatever you like on your pizza. Pepperoni, ground beef, sausage. You can do all vegetables. Just whatever you like. Make it your own. But I just wanted something quick and simple. And I actually think I could use a little bit more cheese, guys. 
this is all I shredded up. So I guess we'll just go with this. Just spread it around a little bit. Spread it, spread it, spread it. Okay, guys. Now, like I said, I did up the temperature of the oven to 400 degrees. And we're going to put this pizza back in the oven and let it cook for another maybe mm, 10 minutes. I'll let you know exactly how much, how long it took. Put my timer for, we'll say 10 minutes. Wash my hands, get a little bit of this pizza cheese off my hands. Okay guys, I'm just cleaning up everything a little bit. While we wait on that pizza, I set my timer for 10 minutes, so we're going to see where it's at when those 10 minutes are up. All right, guys, and I guess I'll just sit and talk with you while we're waiting for this delicious yumminess. I had a few topics that I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I really don't want to do that today because I'm not prepared. I want to make sure that, you know, when I come and sit down with you all and, and, and have a discussion that I have my thoughts together. So I want to make notes and everything so that I can stay on topic and, you know, and I, I get all the facts and everything that I need. I don't want to just come out here and start talking and, you know, babbling about stuff that I don't know about. So, yeah, we'll wait for that. But anyway, guys, I was just wondering, um, how do you guys like YouTube? Do you like it? I like YouTube. You know, I, I watch a lot of YouTube. I watch a lot of videos and, and you know, vlogs and stuff like that. But my thing is, what is going on? Why is there so much drama on YouTube? I don't know. Is it is it drama that brings the views? I don't know. Sometimes I, I turn on YouTube and it just, it saddens me, you know, with all of the things that are going on. And, you know, although it's a lot of happiness and and love and entertainment you know there's a lot of hate going on on youtube as well you know families fall apart marriages and relationships break up and and i know it's all a part of life but you know sometimes uh youtube gets the better of me and you know the same thing with like facebook you know i used to like to go on facebook and you know, check in with my friends and this, that, and the other, but it just started to get so negative, you know, everything on there, it just started to get so negative and so messy, and I just don't, I don't like, you know, I don't like messiness, you know, maybe you say, hey, Tiffany, your videos are messy, <laughs> I'm trying to, to, you know, make some content that you guys are going to enjoy, but yeah, I don't like messy, I don't want to get on YouTube and, and, you know, say bad things about other people and, and, you know, cut people down and this, that, and the other. I don't, I don't feel it's necessary. There is so much, you know, money in YouTube to be made that I think it's enough for everybody to share. And I don't think we have to be mean to each other. You know, I don't think we have to be rude. I don't think we have to say ugly things and, you know, call people names and put people down just to get views. I just, I don't think it's necessary, you know, and I hope it never gets to the point where I start doing stuff like that. If I do guys, you all better check me because 
that's just not, it's not the way I want to go. It's not the way I want to do it. You know, I want to have an, a, a lively channel. You know, I want to, I just want to bring good content, you know, and, and make you feel better about your day. I want to bring positivity. You know, I don't want to, and I know that, you know, it's life and, and things happen and, and we have trouble in our life. You know, everybody has problems. That's, that's a part of life. Everybody has problems, but I'll be selective on what I share, you know, with you all. And if I'm not, if I'm going through something, if I'm not having a good day, I'm not going to record anything because I don't want to bring you into that world. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to bring you into that. I just don't. I don't feel like it's necessary. That's just me. You know, I'm older now, closer to 50 than 40. <laughs> and, um, I've seen a lot, you know, I've lived a lot. I've seen a lot, you know, I've seen a lot of, of senseless things happen. You know, people, you know, lose their lives over senseless things, you know, and I just, with me having three sons, I just, I don't like to tie myself into that negativity. I don't, I just want to stay positive. I want to do positive things. And, and that's what I want to share. I want to radiate positivity and I want to accept positivity. If you understand that, you know, I don't, I don't want the negativity. You know, I do have, um, health issues and everything like that, but if I'm going through something and I'm, I'm, you know, not in a good place that day, or I'm not feeling well, I just won't, you know, I just won't record, you know, because I don't want to come on here and keep bringing you down, you know, with my negativity. I want to be I want us all to build each other up. I want us to build each other up. That's what I want to do. I don't want to bring any type of negativity to this channel, guys. Yeah. And I, I didn't put on any makeup today, guys. Because like I said, I sweat so badly. And I'm just in the kitchen, just making lunch for my kids. Now, I am going to try to do a makeup video um, later on today. I'm going to try my best, guys. Try my best. And I think shortly I'm going to bring you a grocery haul. Because it's time for me to go. It's time for me to go to the grocery store. And I think that might be fun. Would you guys like to see a grocery haul? If you do, let me know. I'd be glad to share that with you. It's always fun to go to the grocery store and, you know, just see what's new, see what's on sale, see some things you might like to try. You know, I love corn. I love taking the trip to the grocery store. As you can see, I'm a thick girl. I like groceries. <laughs> I like groceries. Mm. All right, guys, let me check on this pizza real quick, okay? We'll see where it's at. Because we're at about the two minute mark. I don't want to go over, I don't want it to get too dark. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. That's it. We're done. Exactly. Eight minutes. It took eight minutes, guys. Exactly. Eight minutes. And this pizza is perfect. Let me turn the oven off. I'm going to bring it over here so that you can see how see what we got. Here we go, guys. I'm not to burn myself. Look at this deliciousness. Can you see? Can you see? Ooh. Eight minutes, guys. And that is perfect. Ow, this is hot. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.